look outside. It is just smooth sailing. Huh? Yeah, cavu. Cavu, <laughs> cavu <it> for you <laughs> and everybody else out there because it's going to be awesome. Uh, probably more cloudiness around tomorrow morning, but overall the weekend's looking good. And so far, May, hey, it's been a cool month compared to May last year when it was very warm. Last May 2018, we had 11 days when it reached 80 or higher. 11 days. We will have our first 80 degree day coming up on Monday. And also, of course, it has been wet, not a huge amount of rain, but we've had some rain on a lot of these days in these green squares. Today, we've got a brown square. We've got dry weather, so that's good news for today. We're looking at highs in the lower 70s today. It's already getting in the upper 50s, near 60. So lower 70s along the coast, getting almost up to the upper 60s to 70, and then dropping back a few degrees late this afternoon, the second half of the afternoon when a sea breeze sets in. It's just going to be a, a, a light sea breeze. It's not going to penetrate that far inland. Highs, a lot of 80s, as you can see here, and some of those 80s coming right to New England on Monday. Tomorrow will be in the upper 70s in some spots. And as this cold front plows eastward with a strong jet stream, there's going to be a lot of energy available to create a lot of severe weather here in the Plain States today. And more coming up in the next couple to three days as a lot of energy comes in from the Pacific. But for us, it's quiet times. Fine for the game at Fenway Park this evening as they take on the Astros. A first pitch temperature right around 66. And then tomorrow afternoon's game should be fine. A little warmer, of course, by then. We have the International Space Station flyby coming up tonight at 928. It starts at 928. It'll be moving from southwest to east-northeast, and it takes six minutes to do that. And uh, again, look out for that. 928 this evening, southwest to east-northeast. The sky should be partly cloudy for that. It doesn't look like it's going to be clear like it is now, so hopefully we'll be able to see it. But anyway, lows tonight, upper 40s and lower 50s. Highs tomorrow, 75 to 77 here. The outer part of Cape Ann would be cooler. Rockport, Gloucester, only mid-60s. And the south coast here, that would be cool too with a gusty south and southwest wind at 15 to 30 miles an hour. And tomorrow, there'll be a lot of cloudiness in the morning especially, and there could be an isolated shower here and there. This warm front hopefully will progress north northward and it'll take a lot of its cloudiness with it. Assuming it does that and it gets a little sunnier in the afternoon, that's why we should have the 70s here, but 60s on the south coast. So looking at the jet stream, it's a powerful jet stream coming up to create a lot of severe weather in the middle part of the nation. There's a lot of energy here, which is going to kick eastward. We're going to have a warm day on Monday. Then over the southeastern states, it's going to set up for a heat wave down there with maybe near record high temperatures in many areas of southeastern United States heading into the Memorial Day weekend next weekend. For us, we got one warm and very humid day on Monday, a late day shower, thunderstorm possible, and then it looks like partly cloudy, 64 and windy, and 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday, then warming up as we get to next weekend. And we may have our showers and storms here at some point over the Memorial Day weekend. Back to you. Uh, Memorial